Back from the break, um, I'm trying to do a little bit of a slow groove kind of thing. So if I've got this kind of... That last bit is the f is is a funky Fibonacci? Maybe I should call it that the funky Fibonacci. So what happens? I'll just explain that. Uh, what I've got is one, one, two, triplet, quintuplet, eight at the end, and the eight this time in the last segment, um, I was doing a triple paradiddle. In this segment, I'm just doing a single paradiddle, right, left, right, left, right, left, left, to give me a backbeat. Huh? Just remember. I crap on about a paradiddle a lot. I know that. You know that. We all know that. Not the bloody paradiddle again. But the thing is, have a listen to it. Right side, left side. You see, so what goes on is with a paradiddle, it gives you the facility to get the Fibonacci out there, especially the funky one. So what happens is I'm playing a, essentially what's known as a paradiddle rock beat. A bit rough, but there you go. So what we're doing here... There it is there, Ready to see? Paradiddle. For those who want to use it like that. Uh, I was being a bit washy with the old um, ride symbol here, so I'll get back to that a little bit and just sort of work it a little bit, I suppose. Okay, so that's what happens there. Now, one of the things that you can work on with this as well is that um, uh, you can work on it in many different ways. You can also work on it as bar structures, you see. So you could have a one-bar phrase, um, repeat that, and essentially, if you want to, what I'll do is um, I'll, I'll write out a little bit of a thing for you so you can see it. <coughs> okay, so here I am with um, my little mate, the Metro Gnome, and uh, used to be a bass player. And um, essentially, um, I want to talk about the Fibonacci sequence. Okay, he spelt F I B O N A C C I. Okay, and now I want to use the Fibonacci sequence as a bar sequence, okay? And what we have is this. Let me first of all rule up the page. Now if I've got, um, actually before I actually rule up the page, let me just quickly go over the Fibonacci numbers again. You have 0 and 1. Add those two together, you get 1. Add 1 and 1 together, you get 2. 1 plus 2 makes 3. 2 plus 3 make 5. 3 plus 5 make 8. And 5 plus 8 makes 13. And you can keep on going. But let's just stop at 13 at this stage. Okay, now I'll rule the page up. Okay. 
Now, what happens is if I quickly rule the page up, just so you know, there's the percussion clefts, so on. Uh, I halve the bar, and then um, I will um, do this, actually. I'll show you what I do. Here's our first bar. Okay, so we're starting here on the first bar here, number one. Then you would do it again. So I'm going to put a repeat sign there. Okay, so that's that one. So it's one and one. Then you do two. So one and two. Okay, put a repeat sign there. See how it works? And then what happens is that there's the two, and then you have three. So what happens is I put in another bar here. So it'll be one, two, and three. All right, so what happens with that is you put another repeat sign there. You see, so one, repeat sign, one again. You see, then you move on. So it's one and two. There's your two, you see. Then the next one is three. So that repeat sign sends you back to there. So one, two, and then you move on to three. That's that one. Then we have five. So one, two, three, four. So no repeat sign there. Make another bar and put a repeat sign there. Do you see what's going on? So you get one, two, three, four, five, you see? Then the next one is eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So another bar, no repeat sign, another bar there, percussion clip, and then a repeat sign here, okay? And there it is there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You see how that works? And then to finish off, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we have percussion clefts all the way down. And then what happens is, as I said before, there's our eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we've got 13. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. This is the end of the song here. Okay. So there it is there. So what you've got then is you could sit down and just essentially write a rock beat. Okay. So you do the whole thing. And like a cooking show, I'll leave this to simmer. I'll press fade and come back with it all written, okay?